hello guys what's welcome back to our tech is and this is redmi note 3 in my hand and basically it's completely seems like working the setting of the phone the calling app the touch screen of the phone everything seems working but the problem is that whenever i try to turn on the camera app it's stuck on blue screen so this is the problem which basically uh, most many of the users of redmi note 3 facing and this is not a hardware problem or not a camera problem basically this is a completely software problem so you need to fi uh, uh, to fix that problem you need to flash the phone with a stock ROM so first of all turn off the phone means uh, uh, reboot the phone again with holding the power and volume up and down key and this video tutorial will uh, help you to I give means three tutorials in one video one is the uh, redmi note 3 in stuck on blue screen second one is the fixing uh means flashing redmi note 3 with stock rom the third one is the flashing redmi note 3 with uh with stock rom with uh, locked bootloader yes three different tutorials in one single video so now the phone is on and basically to fix that problem you require windows 10 computer only it will work on windows 10 computer with 64 bit pc 64 bit and basically in windows 7 it's not i tested it it's not working this method it's not working ideal mode will not work on windows 7. so now first of all turn off the phone and directly jump in the computer so let's see so we are on computer and this is the four files which you need to download it and all the links are below the description the first one is the ideal fla uh, fast boot the second one is the flashing uh, means flash file of redmi note 3 of, of uh, fast boot uh, and the second one is a uh, third one is the mi pc suit and the fourth one is the mi flash tool so download the mi flash tool and mi pc mi uh, pc suit and install it on your computer and then uh, reboot the computer with uh, disable driver signature in means in uh, disabling driver signature mode if you don't know how to uh, do this um, turn on computer in disable driver signature mode then check the video below the description it will definitely going to help you now the connect the phone uh, with computer and after that means so whenever you uh, turn on the computer in driver signature mode then simply uh, connect the phone to the computer and it will s open the mi pc suit automatically and then okay the phone now at this moment my phone is off so refresh it um, there it is okay now here it is uh, the phone is uh, connected it's charging now turn on the phone is in fast boot mode with holding the power key and the volume down key and in fast boot mode just open the ideal and the phone will completely go on the ideal mode with uh, it means uh, the phone will blink with red light blinking or green mostly it's a uh, blink on red blinking on the very top then it means the phone is on ideal mode then you will eligible to flash the phone in with locked bootloader so now first <coughs> check the uh, drivers are properly installed or not so cross this okay it's installed so okay it is okay it's installing some uh, the drivers of the uh, phone so let's check it in device manager and here it is uh, okay here it is this is qualcomm hs usb qd loader driver so this is the driver which required to flash redmi note 3 in with locked bootloader so it means uh, the driver is properly installed so now need to open the mi uh, flash tool oh, no not here to select all apps okay xiaomi mi flash tool so open it and open and this process will only work in 64 bit computer even it's it's windows 10 windows 7 windows 8 but it's required 64 bit only mostly uh, I recommend you to do it on Windows 10. So there it is, COM 14, which I refreshed, and this device seems COM 4. And first, select the flash file, Kenzo Global Image. Only need to select that and open it. 
then if uh, if the device owns f f e e c c like that then it means uh, the driver are not properly installed but if it shows com 12 com 13 com 4 com 8 anything related to com then it, may, it means the driver is properly installed and you are eligible to flash the phone in with locked bootloader so select the uh, clean all and if you want to uh, select whatever you want clean all uh, clean all with locked whatever you want so i selecting clean all and the flash so it's flashing the complete flashing process will takes around uh, 10 to 15 minutes yes completely 10 to 15 minutes and i tested in windows 7 in my uh, computer in means uh, in my windows 7 computer it's completely not working i tried it two times it's not working in windows 10 i tested it if it, it's successfully worked i tested it means like three or four times it's completely perfectly working and in windows uh, 8 i did not check yet but i recommend you to uh, flash this uh, completely do this process in windows 10 computer there will no error you will face so now let's uh, fast forward this video and this will completely takes around 10 to 15 minutes so don't be panic don't uh, uh, means uh, don't touch the uh, wires it means usb cables until the flashing uh, shows success okay now here it is uh, the flashing see success and it's completely um, uh, did after 10 to 15 minutes i did not recognize time basically it's seems it's more than 10 minutes so now after that completely uh, remove the phone and okay so remove the phone and now i am turning on the phone and the first boot will takes around uh, completely like uh, if i sure that it takes around like 10 to again it's 10 to 15 minutes to completely boot up the phone so don't be panic again uh, the first boot will really takes a lot of time it will uh, it does not mean that the phone is stuck on the android logo or a my logo screen it's it will on sometime it takes 10 minutes sometime 15 minutes sometime 20 minutes completely uh, means uh, no, it's not sure that it's completely not fixed that at what time it will on so let again fast forward this okay here it is it's on now so it's mi ui 8 and let's completely check it yeah if the phone is hits up it's completely uh, the phone is hit completely hits and select it India select it the charges of the phone is also completely gone set up uh, basically I uh, uh, set it to clean all so that that's why it does not require the uh, MI cloud ID so if you uh, flash it with uh, clean uh, or clean and locked then means it will require the mi cloud or if you uh, flash the phone in with saved data then it, the, com the the means uh, data of the phone will saved and it will only flash the rom and again this the app loading will takes around uh, again 2 to 3 minutes more
Oke, okay, agree. Yes. Okay, now it's uh, completed. The setup is complete. So now let's check the camera. Here it is. Okay, agree. Okay, here it is the camera. Now it's uh, working. There is no problem. Same. Okay, so that's it. So this is the way that we can easily flash the uh, Redmi Note 3. So thanks for watching this.